welcome to Little Creek Bee Ranch. It's swarm season. It's uh, we have a swarm we're going to catch here. Hey, it's May seventh, Sunday, eleven thirty-six a.m. <laughs> here we here we go. <laughs> never, never convenient, you know. That's all right. We'll take it. So I'm gonna let you kind of watch at a distance. I'm gonna go spray them. Have my helper here. My wife Kelly is here to help. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is try to spritz them down with sugar water, lemongrass oil, and I'm listening to them right now. And they could get ready to uh, vominos like leave. I hear them. But as I approach them, they will coalesce around the queen to protect her. Yeah. Oh, you girls. They're so excited. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, they are. Soaking pretty heavy. And I'll pull out and uh, want to get my uh, wagon. I'm looking for a box. Uh, you know, they're smart. <laughs> They don't want to be caught. Oh. Kids. What do you say, kids? They're all they're all wound up. <coughs> it's okay. We'll do our best, eh? So all you can do is your best. Let's see. Getting the strap laid out here. I want my strap down. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they leave. It's okay. We're looking for a a decent uh, box to put them in. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. That's not a good one. Let's see. I got to. Uh, Make some adjustments. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba yeah, quickly, Kendall. <laughs> and we never know. They might stay, they might not. Uh, I have some messy colonies over here we could use ah. use that hey. <laughs> you never know man you never know. <laughs> Trying to uh, get some decent frames together that they won't completely reject. If the frames are too dirty, they'll re reject them. Like come back out of the house. They don't like it. So we don't want it too dirty. Yeah, not too dirty. 
Uh, okay, I don't know. Let's see how we do with that one, eh? Hey? Maybe that's a box, eh? Hey? That's a box. And then the bottom bar. If you can see me, maybe you can see me from that far. I didn't have a lot of time to prepare. <laughs> they always, they always catch you off guard. You know, it's all right. It's okay. Okay, so there's my screen. I'm going to use, there's my screen, and there's my, my lid, I'll use this lid, talking to myself mainly, and uh, another box, and I don't want that one in there, oh boy, that's okay. Get it sorted out. Oh. Let's see if they will uh, settle down. You know, they gotta uh, settle down. <laughs> Let's see. I can't get them to settle. You learn how to work kind of briskly. You work briskly. I want that box. <laughs> Damn, oh. Oh, man. Okay. And uh, I want to. I want uh, some comb frames in the middle with uh, sugar water lemongrass oil on them so I take them right to the comb in the middle down low yeah okay that's okay <clears throat> okay now <laughs> I got a, got a mess going on here I can't hear you. Where are you going to sit then? Back over there. <laughs> yeah. Miss. Right. Let's see how we do. <laughs> oh, I tell you, you just gotta laugh. <sighs> Let's see what the bees will give me today. You know. Let's see. Okay. The girls aren't settled. Still in the air. Nope. They're not. Uh, they're not convinced yet. Maybe if I'm fortunate, they will see this box and go right here, girls. Uh huh. It's happened. Yeah. They can smell it. They're not stupid.
they're like beekeeper get out of the way we'll do it you know let's see what they do because I can't uh, what do you call a snafu a kerfuffle if they're not clustered or if they're just slowly bleeding off and I don't know where they're bleeding to I can't grab anything they were clustered well they're, they're, they're coming apart yeah I know I noticed that there's a lot more in the air so sometimes we have multiple queens in a cluster and uh, the girls will work quickly to separate they'll stay, they don't want those queens together so one cluster can become three or four or five or whatever and then it's just near impossible to get on them you gotta wait for them to settle chickens are upset well we saw this one come out let's see if I can oh, let's turn it this way a little bit there this uh, that box right there that gray one that's where they come from and there's a cyan right there in front of them like they couldn't hit it makes it so much easier but with them with it all dissipated <laughs> let's see oh this is this is a frustrating because they just dissipate in the air and like it like you can't tell where they went the further they get apart in the air it's like okay they disappeared <laughs> and i think i think that's what i have you know, it's a, if you don't get your mind right, the thinking, this can be just nightmare, frustrating stress. So, over the years, I've learned to just ask myself, what will my bees give me today? So they gave me a swarm. They swarmed, but they didn't coalesce and cluster up. Maybe I moved too fast on them. They want to hunker down. But the flip side is I'll get a fresh queen. It won't be big honey production for that colony. But uh, the best queen they ever have is one they make on their own. So I didn't really lose. I lost a volume of bees. <laughs> and there's nobody left great where did they go I have no idea <laughs> well bummer that's actually rather rare thank goodness where you get ready to go move on a cluster of bees and they just come unwound and they go no beekeeper you're not catching us today now I wonder I'm going to go behind you here and I'm going to go to the other side of the tree. You never know. I mean, they like to hide. Get behind a fence, behind honeysuckle. See, they thought they were hidden and I found them and they didn't like it. See, if they weren't, if they didn't want to hide, they would stay there. <laughs> what the heck here? Well, this is interesting. So now, normally, <laughs> I'm a little befuddled. Darn, they will fly with the wind so we have a strong southerly wind today so if you if you see me walking right here 
I'm to the north of you. So, where would they have gone? They're going to cluster somewhere. All that work. Darn them. Okay, okay, flip the coin here. So I prepped a box, right? You know, I prepped a box. <laughs> Not bad box, double mediums. Swip swap dirty frames, and it's okay, it's acceptable to me. So what about that now? No, I can't put any bees in it, there's no cluster there. It becomes a catch box, and I'll set it. Oh, if you're looking at me. I'll set it right over here, and I'll put some swarm commander on it, and now it becomes a catch box. So, although this didn't turn out the way I wanted, here's the golden nuggets for the lesson. Always think about the flip side, trade-offs, and look for the golden nuggets on the flip side. Ha! That'll keep you from getting all twisted up in the head. You can't, you can't think singular with bees. You gotta think multiple, strategically multiple. If you think that way, if you learn how to think that way, this won't be such a nightmare of stress and frustration. Okay, what do I get? It didn't work the way I wanted. What do I get out of it? I get a new queen. Still got a colony of bees over there. And I get a catch box that was easily set up. And I can put them in place and put Swarm Commander on them. And off we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Bees come and bees go. They're a fluid resource. Don't freak out. Bees come and bees go. Bees are never wrong. Beekeepers wrong. Oh, people don't want to hear that. Bees are never wrong. Beekeepers wrong. So, so you learn how to think differently. And you have to be uh, fluid. <laughs> we were making a chicken coop, a hoop coop, Kelly and I were. I said, hey, look at those bees coming up out of that box. That's okay. It's okay. And uh, my first two or three years in beekeeping, I was just like everybody else. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Oh my. Nah, 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 nah. You learn how to settle down. Well, Fickle girls, I'm looking at stragglers. There's probably a dozen bees here. And they're, they're scouts that are coming back going, hey, where'd everybody go? So what about the scouts? They will, they will go back to the original house. They'll, they'll be hanging there. There may be a golf ball size of bees for two or three days. Okay, shifting gears, plan two. <laughs> Yikes, darn, all right, all right. Sorry, point you down, there we go. So the two colonies left and right, right there, they're dead outs now. They go, gee, why are they there then? Well, so now think about it. I just, I just broke down a dead out. As long as it's not massive webs, if it's not terribly, terribly bad, it can be quickly cleaned for a catch box or a swarm box. You'd be surprised at what bees take. Oh, look at there. Okay, now. Something in. Bees hanging. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah, I got something weird going on. Ah. Okay, okay, so, so now what? 
Okay, so turn my back. This going here. And now I'm gonna put this box here. <laughs> well, fiddlesticks. Well, that's 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 very rare. I can't think of. Oh, well, maybe that's the second time that's happened. Doesn't happen often. Well, my, oops, apiary, my hive stand change of pebbles and garden cloth not working. So, we're going to stall mats. There's a recommendation from one of our members and students. Thank you, Gary. Good idea. And let's see here. Yeah, now you're just watching me set up boxes. Have some staples in it. Worked out in the heat. That's weird. That's kind of rare too. <laughs> That's funny. That's okay. Tips and tricks and lessons. Okay, here we go. Micro lessons. Might as well get something out of this. I like for my boxes to season. I'll put them out here raw. And they'll go gray. Then I like to put tongue oil varnish on them. About four or five coats. They go a really pretty golden brown. Oh, they're really nice. It helps them blend into the background. White stands out. People would never steal bees, right? <laughs> we have hay rustlers and cattle rustlers and horse rustlers and we got bee rustlers. Isn't that sad? Truth. Okay. So. Some of this propolis off the screen. I don't really save propolis. Some people do. Toss it over there. It's okay, not a problem. Okay, let's see here. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. All right. So now there's a catch box, eh? How about that? I mean, what else are you going to do? You can't lament the bees. <laughs> bees are being bees. <laughs> That's just laugh. No matter how good you are, it doesn't matter how good you are. They'll get away from you. Ooh, wild onion. There's some wild onion there. Wild onion. Look at that, man. Holy cow. <clears throat> They'll get away from you. You go, darn. Well, you know. <laughs> Welcome to beekeeping. Ah, ah thorn. thorn. Uh. Yeah, man, it's a fluid idea, buddy. What will my bees give me today? <laughs> a lot of wild onions here. Holy cow. But I don't do onions. <laughs> Beekeeper pulling weeds. <laughs> there's, there's a lesson. <laughs> See my. <sighs> well, you know, part of beekeeping. Whatever. <sighs> Not what I thought would happen. Oh, six bees. They've ominosed. Well, 
Okay. Well, that was a weird lesson. Turn it into a, a catch box. Well, heck yeah. Why not? Might as well. Right? <laughs> that makes two swarms that have gotten away from us. Caught one. Every year is different. Every year is different. Brick. Need my brick. Where's my brick? Brick. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to holler at my wife here, so forgive me. I need Swarm Commander. Swarm Commander. Where is it? The bench, top right, the full bottle. Okay. It's okay. So she's going to bring us some Swarm Commander. And that'll turn it into a catch box. <laughs> Let's see, more golden nuggets. Uh, eight acres, the most colonies I've run is 43. That was too many for eight acres. But that gives you an idea. They suck up every bit of nectar around and they produce smaller colonies, which are weaker, which makes you work harder. Ah, see there? So, eight acres, 43, not good. Oh, I'd say maybe 10, minimum four. What do I have? One, two, three, four. Four right now on the property. We'll pick up more. Got lots of season left. Okay. Hey, no, right here. Hey, hey, right here. Uh, <laughs> she she loves to mess with the bees. You gonna do it for us? What? Swarm commander. This is this is now a catch box. They left me. They oh, left. Really? They left. Gosh. Two on the porch. Where'd they go? Well, that that's the that's the question I want to know. No, 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 not that one. This box, not not on there. Down in there. Two on the porch. Get down close. It's like a line. You do a line. Oh boy. You gotta be close. And one line here. Another one. That's weak. You gotta really pump it, squirt it. Okay? Okay. There we go. So yeah, you wanna take that back inside. Okay. Put it back we're done almost darn. darned right yeah but we get a new queen and we got a catch box set out flip side thinking about the flip side yep right yep <laughs> back to the hoop too <laughs> back to the farm chores well I hope you got something out of that we started, we sprayed them. They were not completely settled. Ah, so there, there's a lesson. Kendall, let them get settled first. Yeah, everybody gets excited. That's all right. Okay. Well, maybe there's some good lessons in there. <clears throat> if you'd like to learn lots from us, <laughs> Not, not how to miss out on swarms, but <laughs> how to be more sustainable. I'd check out the personal advisor program. 
on littlecreekbranch.com. It's a coaching service we offer. Very cool. There's a lot that we do. Acoustic beekeeping, essential oil strategies on bees. We don't do pesticides on bees. Traditional stuff, nope. It's not necessary. I refuse to poison my bees. They have a hard enough battle out there in the field as it is. LittleCreekBeeRanch.com. Go to the personal advisor page. Have a look at that. It's a subscription service, $29.95 a month, but boy, you sure get a lot. Another couple of popular pages, Making the Connection. That's a big one. Acoustic Beekeeping. That's another big one. Those two pages are sister pages. Another one is uh, Our Uniqueness. Our Uniqueness. Those are things that we're known for nationally. So we have lots of interest across the country in what we do. Ah, yeah. We don't have hundreds of hives. That's not what we do. It's the how. People are interested in the how. That's where we excel. Zoom classes, that's cool. Ebooks, those are cool. Number one is the personal advisor program. Having a coach that you can call on that's dedicated to you and get answers to your questions real fast, that reduces the learning curve quickly. Learning curve in beekeeping is very steep. It'll eat you up. You won't know what's going on. So, <sighs> LittleCreekBeeRanch.com. Personal advisor program. All right. Well, not what I thought would happen. <laughs> Back to the chicken chores. Later.